sashay my armpits. That's great. I hope you guys are having a really awesome day today because I went to the Dollar Tree. Who remembers or like who's been on my channel whenever I used to do Dollar Tree hauls and buy like a bunch of random stuff and then I would come back on my channel and show you guys all the random ass stuff that I got. Who remembers that? Who's my OG Larly? So I went to the Dollar Tree and actually whenever I was checking out, the girl checking me out was like, are you on YouTube? And I was like, totally am. She's like, are you filming a Dollar Tree challenge? And I was like, mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Ooh, I got a beauty blender. Ty, you have to wet this. Sorry about it, cuz. Bruh. Bruh. Wet my beauty blender. It's from the Dollar Tree. It's probably hard as a brick, but I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt. It was solid blue. It was blue. Like an orange <gasps> and blue. Ew, look. Oh, wow. Guys, look at this. It's like got brown coming through. I feel like brown came out of it whenever you did it. Wow, I hate that so much. Okay. <laughs> Bought some of these. These are the devil, in case you didn't know. Satan made them and he put them on earth. What if one day Laura Lee Los Angeles came out with an eyeshadow palette and I put these in the palette? <laughs> you guys would be like, she got us. It's a gag. It was a joke. <laughs> All right, we'll sing the subscribe song and then we'll jump right into this video. Subscribe to my channel. Before wicked wicked you leave wicked wicked subscribe oh god subscribe let's get started we have arrived to the land of dollars let's go see what's inside shall we watch as the creatures go into the store i look like shit today it's really quiet and awkward there's no music <laughs> hey too close <laughs> we have a filmer in training coconut titties <laughs> Special effects, <laughs> Dollar Tree style. A1, Aaron. Oh, God. <laughs> I have to do a full face of this. It's gonna be really hard. Hopefully I don't get a rash this time. We need a basket. They actually have like a lot of makeup in here. Um, little wet and wild brushes. I'm gonna buy one. Actually, I'm gonna buy all these because, oh my God, I'm dropping them. I like wet and wild brushes. I'm gonna buy that one off the floor. So we have liquid makeup and we have the shade, ooh, true beige. I'm gonna buy true beige and tan. You're gonna get crazy. Some eyeliner, some mascara. Ooh, eyeshadow girl. Three for a dollar? I'll take it. Concealer? What about Beauty Blender? Where's that? Smart girl. World's smallest eyeshadow palette pan. Go ahead, how are you going? I never find a facial primer in any of these challenges. Like, I just can't find one. What's great is that I'm gonna go ahead and put one on my face and then we're just gonna pretend like it didn't happen and then we're just gonna jump right in. I love a good moisturizing facial primer because I feel like it makes your skin look so plush and beautiful and moisturized. Oh, I mean, I do use primers to fill in pores, but like I love a moisturizing one, girl. Skin looking plump and fresh. So I got this LA Color Liquid Makeup. I bought the shade Tan and True Beige, which was the only two colors that they had. And I figure I could mix them together and create a foundation. I'm not gonna use that Beauty Blender because like brown started like seeping out of it whenever my husband had wet it. So I'm like not trusting that for my face. So breaking out in a rash right here because I'm a nervous toucher. And like whenever I talk sometimes, I'll like touch my chest and not even know that I'm like kind of scratching my chest. Kind of a weird habit, but I always do that. And also if I'm sitting filming and my like leg is on the ground, I will shake my leg and some people like see me shaking. I've always done it. And I don't know if this is like a nervous thing or I'm just subconsciously doing it, but. That's just the tea. I got a clean Y6 brush from Mofe. Use Laura Lee's code. I have the colors. I used the top of this Revlon thing. Don't ask me why. It was just sitting in front of me and I was like, cool, I'll mix them together on top of it. Oh, that's gonna be a little dark. It's okay. I like to pretend I'm way more tan than what I actually am. It's one of my favorite things to do. Oh man, I just got my earring. Ugh. Oh, I did it again. What am I doing today? Hello. So yeah, this is like what I've experienced in a lot of really cheap foundations. Foundation is one thing I'm willing to splurge a little more on. 
they are very heavy feeling but yet have no coverage it's like they put a little bit of pigment and a lot of greasiness into the product it feels like just soaking wet sticky all over my face but it almost looks like i don't have any foundation on it it's just kind of like a tint no i am not into this <laughs> so next up i'm gonna go in with the la color uh beige concealer it costed a dollar this shade is about 80 shades too dark, but this is the only shade they had, which is true beige. So I'm just gonna take my Y6 and just blend this out. It's kind of like the exact same thing as the foundation. It's just like really not doing anything. This is gonna be hard. I found this Color Mates pressed powder in the shade natural, everything was natural beige. Girl, if you were natural beige, you, it just wasn't happening for you. It's very pink and uh, it was the only powder that I found. Take this little flat brush, this is an E54. And I've got to set this makeup though, girl, cause it's feeling kind of gross. Actually, it's not that pink, so peace, love, and positivity over here because it's actually translucent, which I'm super grateful for. Eh, it's a little pink. I, I I just turned orange. What is happening? While diving in, we might as well go ahead and contour and polish this turd up. Using this LA Colors Contour Kit, sculpt and shape your face in the shade light. Normally I can finagle like the eyes with really cheap makeup and like make something happen, but it's it's the base. It's the face makeup where it all really goes downhill and you're just kind of like regretting all your decisions in life. My face is also awfully patchy, which, oh my God, do you guys see? I'm breaking out. I'm going to take my R14 brush. Ooh, a lot comes off, so. Huh. A little bit muddy, but I think the foundation that we have on and concealer is like not helping the case. Like I think this could potentially be a decent bronzer if I didn't look crazy already. So I don't want to like shade this little bronzer. Really, I don't because I mean, I didn't give it much to work with to be fair. I do feel like the bronzer is actually really soft though, like super soft feeling. So I like that. I forgot guys, I got these little brushes from Wet n Wild, which I do like their brushes. I did not have any brow products except for a brow gel. So I'm going to take the angled Wet n Wild brush that I found there and it is a brow brush and I'm gonna take some of the brown shadows out of this little eyeshadow palette um, and I'm gonna like draw on some eyebrows and we're gonna just finagle them. Now these colors have a little bit of sparkle in it so that should make this as difficult as possible. <laughs> I'm just trying to turn out this oh my god. <laughs> I'm just trying to turn out this eye look because we're gonna make up for the hot Cheeto that's looking at you right now. Actually this brown eyeshadow is gonna work. I can build this up. I did have to get a little bit creative and I mixed in some of this uh, dark brown Ardell brow building brow fiber. And I just mixed it in with the uh, ooh, eyeshadow and kind of made like this pomade sticky situation. It was difficult and time consuming. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other brow and I'll be right back. But I'm going to take a little bit of my Dollar Tree concealer and then I'm gonna carve out the bottom part of the eyebrows. And I'm using an M421 brush to do this. And we're also just gonna go ahead and use this concealer as my eye primer. For eyeshadow, I showed you this palette. This is what I use for my brows. And then I also got this shimmering loose eyeshadow with the little brush from LA Colors that I'm pretty excited. It's like a really pretty bronze color. And then I also got this little trio, which I think we could use this as our highlighter and see about this little water lily three eyeshadow color. I'm gonna mix together a few brown shades. I need to pick up a little more color. And then with this, ooh, a bit low, but swap it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth on my eye, kind of in the windshield wiper motion. And you can even do tiny little circular motions as well to blend this out. So I'm gonna take that darkest brown shade that I use for my brows and just build it up a little more because it is definitely patchy. Um, but I, I mean, I really think we could get a good look out of this. I'm gonna focus on the positive here. I'm just gonna keep blending, 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 and then I'm gonna blend a little more, and I really think we can get something good out of this. Counting on this eye look to really make up for my uh, face. I'm actually gonna use my little wet and wild friend right here and go in with the deeper shade. Mm. 
Now that I have built up the browns as much as I can, they did take a little bit of finagling, but I definitely used worse eyeshadows. So I'm vibing with this eye. Good vibes with the eye. I think we can turn it into something great. So I'm going to go back in with that concealer. I'm gonna go back with the little brush that I carved out these eyebrows with. And I'm gonna go ahead and put some of the concealer down. This is a brush that I do like to cut this crease with, so. That I have a nice sticky base down. This is gonna help with fallout and it's gonna help this loose pigment to be even more pigmented. So let's open her up. Comes with this little brush. Let's try to figure it out. Oh, I hate it. Honestly, this is what the sponge came in. I'm just like dumping it out. I'm just gonna use my own little, little brush. So I did wet the color. Oh, that is very pretty, honey. That was like a high end eyeshadow for Zala. As Liza Koshi would say, Adzala? This is really pretty, guys. Like, I am invested into this look. This is like a pretty cool pearlescent color. So I'm gonna pop it in the inner corner. Go ahead and hit that brow bone, girl. So I'm gonna go in with the deepest brown color. And I'm going to pack it on that outer corner. And then I'm gonna kind of Finagle it on up. I'm actually using the packaging to the eyeliner, a little pencil liner I bought. I'm just gonna take a blender brush and really soften up that harsh line. I got some of this Wet n Wild Mega Wear Mascara and thank God it was black. So I'm just gonna pop this right on. I actually like the mascara and the wand. It works pretty darn good. I can't believe it was a dollar. I've definitely used high-end mascaras that didn't do what this one's doing. I've really been into lash cocktailing lately. So I'm going to take Doa from Lily Lashes and then I'm gonna take Bambi from House of Lashes and stack Bambi on top of Doa and get this really full, beautiful lash. And this is what it ends up looking like. Look how gorgeous. I cheat at this part in almost every video. I can't help it, guys. I mean, I can help it, I guess. I could have bought the crusty lashes, but I feel like we really wouldn't have a complete Larly look. I mean, I could have cheated at the foundation, but instead, I'm taking a hit. <laughs> so we trim Doa, we add some lash glue, we apply her like a regular lash. You can see a little lash glue, but that's okay. That will dry clear. So this is it without the double stack. I think it looks really pretty, a little more natural. Over here, we are like, yes, I'm gonna you. Very diva over here. I love a diva look. So here's where I take Bambi and I trim both the little ends off of it. So it's not too long and we're only getting the drama at the edge of the lash. So trim, trim, perfect. Now we're gonna go ahead and line this thin band with some lash glue. Okay, we have lash glue on it and now we are going to flick it up and set it on the end right there. Then I'll just take my finger and kind of real lightly press it together to make sure they're not like a gap in them. The only drama I want my life is my lashes. Okie dokie. Now we're going to go ahead and blend out the under eye. I'm just going to take, again, our deepest brown. And I'm just going to run it from the outer corner, really connect it right there, and just bring it around town, just like Spongebob would do. Bring it around town. Now I'm just going to add some of my Mega Wear mascara from Wet n Wild. I'm going to take a little bit of the pearlescent color and just add it as a highlight to my nose. So as the cupid's bow, maybe just a little bit right here. There we go, just a little glow. Not, oh, that's light on me. Okay, I got this Creamy Wear uh, Hydrating Lipstick. It smells kind of good. I like the lipstick like a lot. Like, I would probably wear this again. Color I got it is in natural shine. Everything's natural. All right, guys, this is the final look. And let me just say, the only thing that I'm really just not like, into is the foundation concealer and then the face powder. But the contour, I, <laughs> I feel like I could have made it work. The brushes were great. Uh, everything was great. The eyeshadow was 
Okay, <laughs> I definitely had to finagle the LA Girl eyeshadow palette. Like I had to really build up and like keep tapping in, keep tapping in. But I think it worked out. In the beginning it was a little patchy, but I think we worked it out. Um, definitely the shimmer was bomb. It saved the day, it was amazing. Really like the lipstick. I like that little highlight color in the threesome palette. We definitely had some wins in this video from the Dollar Tree. And I think that this look, like the eye look especially, looks super high end. This eye costs more, it looks like more than a dollar. Anyways, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for being here and watching. I love you guys to death. Um, comment, subscribe, leave me something good in the comment section. Tell me something good. And I'll see all y'all in my next video. See you later. Alligator. And then lower it just a little. You want to zoom all the way out? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you want to, ooh, that made a difference. Yeah. You want to zoom all the way out? <laughs> all right, I got to get out of here, but I hope you guys had a great day and had a lot of fun with me. <laughs> that, that is embarrassing. That is, yeah. Peace.